What up though, DJ Star back with another On Feet video and today we're discussing one of my favorite silhouettes in the Air Jordan line. But before we do that, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping new content. And also, please like, comment, and share on the videos. It goes a long way to help the channel grow and I can keep, continue to keep bringing you these dope videos. And I'm also pushing for those 500 subscribers. So tell your brother, family, friends, cousin, nephew, nieces, everybody you know that it's another guy doing these over here and on DJ Star 2K2 on this page. So with that being said, this particular silhouette of the Air Jordan line was known as the Cyber Monday. It released on October 15th for $190 USD and is currently reselling for $100 over retail right now, which is blowing my mind. And also, you can sell a dead stock pair for about $195, basically retail, a little under retail, actually, when you add the taxes to it. So it's just one of those strange situations. But what attracted me to the shoe, other than just loving Air Jordan 3s, was the materials used on the shoe, which they did their thing on. So as always, we started the tongue. You'll notice you had your thick tongue, the stitching on the back padding over the top of the tongue. That's how they was in 2016. Here recently, they went back to the OG way by tucking it in. And it's done in a premium soft leather with a very well-stitched jump man. As you can see, I did a lace swap. Had to put my fat laces in it. And I didn't want to break up that black. I wanted to all add in and blend in with that premium look. So I left them black instead of white. If you go to the lateral side of the shoe, you will see where it really shines. Now this leather right here they use for this shoe is premium butter soft leather. They did a really extremely well job on the execution on this shoe. No glue stains, no nothing. It was premium as you can get. You just see your whole upper, including your elephant print, is done in all premium leather all the way around the shoe. You got a few preparations here, some here, and then your midsole and your outsole is done in all white, no sale, just all white, with your visible air unit here, and the heel standard on all Air Jordan 3s. You go to the medial side of the shoe, you see more of the same, just premium soft leather, really comfortable, white midsole, white outsole. And that's really the whole of the shoe, but it is done extremely well. Actually, the leather on this shoe reminds me of the Nike Colin Kaepernick. I did um, an on feed on my channel. You can check the links to see where that video is located at. And it's the same leather. It is beautifully done, very soft, very buttery. I mean, you just can't get no better than that. And that's what really got me liking the shoe. And then when I started to wear it, it's the, um, I could see where they put the materials at and it feels really, really comfortable on feet. You go to the back heel of the shoe and you'll see your Jumpman Air back here. A few preparations, but this is the only part of the shoe that's done in plastic. I, in my opinion, they probably should have did this in leather as well. It probably would have folded a little bit, but just keeping with the all-around theme of the shoe and this premium soft leather, even on the elephant print, I thought that would have been a dope touch. And at the bottom, you got your standard Air Jordan 3 traction as always, but you got the Jordan on the bottom, so therefore you will have a Jumpman Air on the back because it's not an OG colorway, but we know Nike these days and Jordan brand these days don't even care about that. They just care about whatever. They put the Nike Air on anything these days. So that's really about it. The funny part about the shoe though and the resale price, which is now story time, it's like when I went to grab the shoe, this is probably the first shoe I realized that my foot had grown some because I grabbed my 11 and a half and I just, it was just so super tight. So I ended up taking it back and they exchanged it for me. I think I bought it online and finished line and I took it to the store and they exchanged it for me on the site. And that's how I met one of my um, plugs actually. He was manager of the store and he took care of me and then we got to talking so we got cool after that. But the funny part is nobody wanted to shoot. Everybody hated it, said it was trash, it was ugly, it was worthless. Even though the materials are supreme, nobody liked the colorway, and it set everywhere. It set everywhere. It was so bad, I found this in a Nike outlet two years after the release, sitting there for about $150. Only $40 or $45 under retail, but it was sitting two years later in an outlet in Ohio. And Ohio Nike outlets are trash, in my opinion. I go, I never find anything I want, especially not Air Jordan-wise, for real, for real. Never, ever just sitting or anything, so. That's just a unique story time for this particular thing. To be selling for $100 over retail when nobody wanted it five years ago. It's just amazing to me how this stuff works sometimes. But I think it's a very clean shoe. You could definitely get it off with anything because it's black and white, solid. You could do shorts like I am now, or you could even dress up with it with a blazer and a black, um, black tie, white shirt type of event and do it that way and it'll go with anything. But just tell me your, your thoughts and comments down below what you think of the Air Jordan 3 
Cyber Monday. So with that being said, I'm going to get on out of here. So please subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping new content. And also please like, comment, and share on the videos. It goes a long way to help the channel grow. So love, peace, and prosperity. I'm gone.